Thank you. Greg Mack, Kingman, Arizona. Um, this is a serious problem. And you're pretty much saying right now that your your agency, your, your hands are tied and everything's out of your jurisdiction. And you spoke earlier, you have standards. I'm curious to know when those standards were set and when do you renew them and do new tests to see what they're dumping on us. So as I mentioned earlier, the standards for aircraft engine emissions are developed by EPA. I do not off the top of my head know when they were last reviewed. That's a very good question. But EPA develops those standards. If we could keep for a guy for hand raisers, just so we can make sure we get to everyone, that would be helpful. Thanks. Okay. First of all, my name is Deborah, and I'm from Mesa, Arizona. This is not emissions from an airplane. That's completely disinformation. It's yeah. It doesn't come from engines. This comes from spray nozzles that are retrofitted on airplanes. And I want to know. That's right. My question is. If you don't have any jurisdiction over the air quality, or over the air, when they fly up in the air and they dump this on us, so who has jurisdiction over the generators while they're on the ground? I have, we have jurisdiction over the ground generators, yes. Okay, so who's testing those? And the airplanes that emit these while they're on the ground, before they fly up in the sky? No yeah, answer. I think that all of us for a long time have known that we're being sprayed. This is not contrails. Contrails are very short. Chemtrails go along the sky. And when you see these planes go from one end of what you see to the other and back again and back again and back again, and you have sometimes as many as 10 planes doing this at one time. And, you know, we have gotten a hold of uh, Jad Brewer's office. And, and the senators throughout the United States and in Jan Brewer's office, finally, they said, oh, well, you need to do the FAA. We got a hold of them, nothing. They said, there's nothing, it's contrails. So then we go back to Jan Brewer's office and no one will talk again. And really, frankly, we're not the only people. There are people all over the place that have sent information in. Now you're here and you're um, inadequate to be able to take care of this for us, but whoever can, anybody who's in a place of power, like Kelly Ward or you in your office, you need to really push this because really we are being sprayed like we're bugs and it's really not okay.